I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fake or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the gang I'm talking relationships Worth more than money Yo, yeah. we, we live? We yeah. live? We in there Hey man, I'm gonna do it different this time, cause uh, oh. every time it's gonna be different. Yeah, you gotta make it different. So I'm gonna play something. This ain't even out. It's a remake. It's a remix. I'm gonna play something, cause this shit mm. when it when it got sent through my phone at what time was that? It had to been like close to midnight, probably. Yeah. For real, for real. And, and midnight is my peak hour. You hear me? <laughs> it was Bro, late. I, I'm up. I'm up all night till like six, seven in the morning. It's a fact. When I got that, when I got that text from him, I said, "Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh, you're not fucking around." <laughs> so let me go ahead and play this joint. Malfunction. My sight, now I got it back, got to come back as fast again. My drive is on level, we far from a civic. If I fall, I'm only pushing my limits, got two albums, yeah. How did I did it? I'm making all that, will show you I'm a leash. I got endless to go, and I'm far from finished. When you speak of my name, I respect. Fully load the clip, my fist, I let go and squeeze. Yeah, I'm having only intention, those intentions pure as can be. Yeah, had to go slide on this beef, figure I go and do it with ease. Please, have all these. Can you see me doing me? Living free, thanks to G.O.D. Kevin Lee, I'm cold with the dog. Uh, versatility, get yeah, it's finest, yeah. Would you come and greet me? Uh, come with respect, got the highest. I'm your highness, living clean, I'm the finest. Getting colder, living life, getting older. When I was down low, but had brothers. Tweezy, scalp us, cause oh, man, you know we go so hard. Uh, feel so stellar, like my morales. You go to my weapon, you make it attached. Rack up the bread like a plain pool. If you sleep on the tribe, then you a fool. Endless flows, you to harness those, play them through the bows. You know how it go, let the records flow, let them all stand. When I hit the stage, I'm not at a band. Cuffing every cran, cuffing every land. Praise be to God, I'm allowed to stand. Stand on who I am, stand on what I rap, till there's nothing left. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was it right there, man. <laughs> Look, man, you're not listening to relationships worth more than money podcast. What episode is this? Mm. It's seven. It's so, seven. Yeah, seven. Lucky number seven. Love, yeah. Lucky number lucky seven, number bro. Seven, bro. And, and to my left, man, I got somebody. I will. I will really call my brother. Um, my, you know, what I'm saying like I've been knowing him for what three, four years now. Yeah, yeah. It's been a minute and. <clears throat> it's crazy. Like we 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 connected as soon as we we seen each other at the studio I used to work at, and, yeah. and it's been love and it's been it's been real. It's been real. Absolutely. It's been it's been a journey. It has, and it's definitely been a uh, life opening. You know what I mean? Big time. You know what I'm saying? Big so to time. my left, if y'all don't know this man, this is the guy that created relationships worth more than money song. For this podcast. Yes, sir. This is Marcus Allen. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate bro, what's you, good? Man. Chilling, bro. Appreciate you having me for real, for real. Yeah, man. You know, you know, you know how it is, man. I tell I try to get everybody um that I really do uh genuinely rock with. You for know sure. what I'm saying? And, sure. and even I'm gonna re- branch out and you know, grab other people on Absolutely. this podcast that I don't even know, you yeah. know what I'm saying, that are just met from something that I've done. Throughout my, you know what I mean, my journey in life. Absolutely. But I'm like, bro, I got to get you on here. Because people got to know who who created this song. Because yeah. I didn't do it by myself. Right. That's right. one thing about me, bro. I'm never going to be like, I'm that guy. Like, I did this I, I, I. Right. It's we, we, we. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. Shoot, man. It's been, it's been, honestly, it's been nothing but good vibes, great connection. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, honestly... I think since the first day I've met you, bro, it's like, it's honestly, I've been taking my notes and just, you know, just like paying attention because every time I see you, I talk to you, you always coming through with a gym that I could take yeah. away from. Like, cause the biggest, I think the biggest gym I took away from you was the, uh, was the sink placements. Yeah. You, the minute you got me hip to taxi, I was like, what's the taxi? What's that? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, yo, dog, like 
hearing your joints, like I could see your joints being on like films and TV shows yeah. and commercials and all that. And I'm like, well, I don't even know how that would go down. Like, where who would I need to go to even make that happen? Mm-hmm. And he was like, bro, don't even trip. I got you. Sat me down and just gave me the whole run through. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I need to stay connected with him for sure. Because not even, not even just because like, all right, you an engineer and you have like hella skills about you, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I just met you and you already put me on game. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that you don't see that each a lot. Each one, teach one, bro. You, you don't see you know that mean? a lot. You really don't, especially, you know, with the with the kind of industry that we embarking in, bro. Yeah. It's almost rare. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Almost rare. And, you know, I, I I mean that from a genuine place. So it's like it's 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 been an honor, honestly, bro. I appreciate For it. Real. Man. Yeah, I, I always felt like, bruh. You never want to be like I, I hate to do it, but I always I'm always gonna go back to my military yeah. uh, lifestyle. It, even when I was in, growing up as a kid, like yeah. you never want to be the last one with the word. You know what I'm saying? Like, because okay. I, I feel like that's super selfish, and it's okay with being selfish in certain things, certain aspects. Yeah, certain aspects. You definitely got to be selfish because I'm being selfish. You know what I'm saying? This, as you should be. I, when I turned 38, I said, "Bro, this this I'm being selfish. I'm not. It is. I'm not doing a lot of certain things mm-hmm. anymore. Like it's me first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just always been that tight where it's like, bro, like, mm-hmm. how can I help? And if I know something, mm-hmm. here, did you know about this? Yeah. Did you know about this? For sure. All right, check into that. Check into this. Yeah. And a lot of times, bro, like, when I'm telling you that, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm still going through the, the sync placements and stuff mm-hmm. because I tell people all the time, like, Look, man, they might not hear you mm-hmm. and trying to hear what you're doing right now, mm-hmm. but I think them syncs gonna gonna hear you Nine because that's another 10. way to get the music out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people might not know you, or people might be like, "Oh, this this dude ain't doing nothing. This dude ain't doing this." But mm-hmm. you really that dude yeah. on the sync side. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. For and sure. then when they be like, they put two and two together, they like, "Oh, like this that dog. It's oh, that, this, this him. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and it's always a lane, bro. Like we live in a world now where we don't have to wait on anybody to put out music. Absolutely you not. Know what I'm saying, and um, this is, it's a beautiful time to be in for real, for real. Yeah. Because you know, from back then to them, you know, what I'm saying to like them early '90s, 2000s. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it's around those times, and even earlier than that, you had you had to go through a label. You, you had know to. What I'm saying you had to go through a label. Yep. You had to get to a studio. You know what I'm saying to do what you do. But yeah. Of course, you know now. And, you know what I'm saying, the era of music that we in now is, of course, you know, everything is like, all right, somebody got a home studio, somebody got their own joints, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can get the equipment yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so much ways for you to distribute your music, you know what I mean? Of course, also, too, you know, we in a streaming era. So, right. of course, you know, it's easy for people to get access to your to your content, however way you release it out there. Right. You know what I mean? And then also, too, of course, you know, you're getting paid for your stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like now, the way that it is now, it's a lot easier you know, for you to really do it on your own. But it's, I think now it's to the point to where, like, if this is what you really want to do, are you disciplined enough to really take the action to do it? Right. Because the access is there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you're not trying to tell yourself, like, look, this is what I really want to do, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going a, I'm to a get myself up and actually make it happen. If you're not willing to be on that type of tip, then, of course, yeah, you're not really going to get too far the way that you really want to go. But it's like, Within this generation, man, it's like everything is accessible, bro. Yeah. Especially on the internet, bro. The internet is where it's at to really get your shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Like from social media to everything, dog. Like, bro, this is pretty much what a lot of artists, creators, business owners really Mm -hmm. need to tap into. You know what I mean? So I think that's what it what it where it's at though. Yeah, so like we we um we talk about music all day. That's a fact. Every day. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Um where did it start for you? Like, the, like career wise, or just fall in love with it, both. Either I, right, yeah. sure. I bet. So, as far as like, I'm gonna start with like, just the love for the, for the craft for real, for real. So, I fell in love with that bad boy. Like, I want to say like at the age of 14, and this like, I could take y'all back to like back when my my brother was living in you know Smyrna, Georgia at mm-hmm. the time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, what year was that? This was, whew, man. It had to be like. I want to say probably before 06, 07, okay. around that range. Mm-hmm. So, youngin', basically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation. You know what I mean? I'm out, you know what I'm saying? Because at the time, I was still living, in, um, still living in Maryland at the time and stuff like that, or let alone going back and forth from Maryland to New York. So, we on vacation. I'm, I'm out there, you know, Georgia with my bro. And mind you, it's like 
10, 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm hearing all this bumping and all that, this noise. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Woke me out my sleep. I'm like, dog. Knock on my bro. Dog. I'm like, yo, what you, what you doing in there? He like, yo, I'm in here making beats. Making yeah. beats. I mean, I'm, I'm 14, 14 years old. I'm, I'm thinking about video games, candy, yeah. you know, like, you know, childish shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, making beats. What's, I'm like, what's, what's that? He's like, like, I'm making music. And he was like, you want me to show you? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why not? I'm, I'm trying to get hit myself, you right. know? Got me in that joint, pulled up another chair. He done shown me Fruity Loops. FL. That was the start of it all, honestly. You know what I mean? FL. He done show me Fruity Loops. Now I'm like, so what's so what's, what's this? He's like, yo, so this program is called Fruity Loops. And it's like, yo, the, the biggest way, honestly, truly, he really introduced it to me, which honestly really like kind of took off of me was like, he's like, yo, it's almost like a video game for real. You know what I'm saying? And at the time I was like really heavy, like before music, bro, I wanted to be a video game developer. Yeah. Like I wanted to get with Insomniac, EA Sports and all of them and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that was my whole lane right there before I even tapped in with music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it like, all right, okay, like I'm gonna, you know, I'm fuck with it, see what it's see what the vibe is about. You know what I mean? And he's teaching me like from mixing, mastering, like what the what a mixer is and how to put a pattern together, how to sequence your whole, you know, your whole joint. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And I'm I'm listening to everything and you know, like from you know, growing up listening to like Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying, the uh, the whispers, temptation. I'm bringing it all the way back. You yeah. know what I'm saying to Dr. Dre, snooping on them. I'm listening to like different sounds growing up, and now I'm seeing him actually put that all together. I'm like, oh, so this is how they actually make this stuff happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even more so like when I'm watching, I'm becoming a fan at the same time, and I'm becoming like even more like getting ready to be addicted to this crap. Cause I'm like, I can feel myself like, dog, like. Let me go ahead and call my dukes on the phone. Yo, can you cop me a laptop? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Cop me a keyboard right quick. Cause when I get back home, like this is what I honestly want to start doing. You know, right. start doing. So at that point, I'm like, all right, cool. So he's like, yo, you wanna you wanna try it out? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So he's like, all right, yo, I'm about to hop in the shower, go ahead and do your thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna see what you come up with. Right. Like this is off the first whim, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, cool, you know, putting some shit together. Of course it sound trash. You know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, right. but I'm like, yo, this is crazy. But it's just the fact that you you actually have something that that's gaining your attention. That yeah. is, you're attracted to like what the sounds is doing and how you can create the Definitely. patterns and everything. Definitely, yeah. and, and that's when, of course, you know, him put me on. Like I said, to the mixers and all that. He gave me hip to VSTs, plugins, and all yeah. that. And I'm like, so you use this plugin to make this sound like that? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, I'm all the way like amazed with it. So like I said, get back home. I'm like, yo, I need a laptop. You know yeah. what I mean? I need a laptop. My deuce give me the laptop for my birthday. She give me the keyboard. And I'm like, okay, we about to go crazy. Yeah. And I remember, though, like, I didn't even have no, like, actual headphones to mix with. So mm-hmm. I, I'm using Apple headphones. You know right. what I mean? Like, not even the joints that we got, like, you know, with the little jack that we got with the iPhones. I'm talking the back, back in the day, actual yeah. jacks that the you use. You know what I'm saying? The OG yeah. joints that, you know. I use for my laptop or whatever. I'm mixing beats off that. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I'm like, dog, like, he put me on game with headphones to use. But of course, you know, I'm like, look, I'm getting it how I can get it right now. Yeah, I, can't, you know I, mean? I can't afford that. That's a fact. Yeah. Like, I can't get no audio technicas right now. Like, yeah. I ain't, look, I ain't got the bread right now. So I'm like, yeah. all right, babe, I'm going to use what I do. And from then, it's like, honestly, truly, like, as I start to upgrade and, you know, start improving the skills and the equipment and everything, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is, this is, this is where I'm at with it. But, as a hobby though. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wasn't really too much serious at the, at that point. Yeah. So fast forward to high school, I wanna say probably maybe junior senior year. You know, one of my homies was like, yo, I'm getting ready to head over to my boy Jason House and we about to record some songs. Yo, you trying to tap in? I'm like, record some songs. Okay. Like at that time I was just making beats. I wasn't writing or nothing. Like I was yeah. just purely just making beats. Had no attention to recording nothing, anything. So he's like, yo. About to head over there. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to tap in with y'all. So we go over there. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, Jason, he, um, you know what I'm saying? He was, like, big on, like, keys, like, playing keys and stuff because mm-hmm. he used to play for our school. And, I mean, hella talented keyboardist, man. Hella talented. And he's hella talented producer, too. You know what I'm saying? He see this video. Shout out to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, you know what Jason, I mean? right? Yeah. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Jason, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? But um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Jason actually worked with Ari too for a while. For you real? know what I'm saying? On tour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out to him. But um, we used to be at his crib in his basement. You know what I'm saying? And we used to have like the booth set up in the closet. You know what I mean? Like the whole setup. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
that's when I also got introduced to KRKs, which mm-hmm. is the joints I work off now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, these joints sound lit. He's like, yeah, these KRKs or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. But my boy gets in the booth and he started going crazy. I'm like, yo, like, that, yo, you sound lit on this joint. Dog. Like, you sound crazy. He's like, yeah, man, you know, I've been working on this song for a minute. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, yo, trying to, you want to hop on the mic? I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. I'm cool, I'm cool. He's like, you sure, bro? I'm like, I don't know, bro. I mean, you know, at that time, mm-hmm. I'm a bit, you know, insecure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not confident in myself and all right. that. Like, beat wise, oh yeah, I can get on that shit, cook up some shit. But like, lyric wise, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I got it. He's like, I, right, well, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do nothing today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So fast forward a little bit. You know, my pops. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my pops. Shout um, out my pops. You know what I'm saying? My father, before he passed, he was the one that got me into writing poetry. Mm-hmm. And I. Remember I told you at the time I was like heavy in the video games and stuff like yeah. that. So he he came into my room. He was like, yo, I know you don't like to go outside or like that. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you're an introvert. You like your space and all that, which is right. cool. You know what I mean? He was like, yo, but I'm I'm going to see if I can venture you out, venture you out into different things. Yeah. Cut that game off. He gave me a composition book. The two black pencils, and white joints. The black and white joints. The yeah. OG joints. You know what I'm saying? Gave me the gave me two pencils already sharp. He's like, look, I'm gonna make sure he, you know what I'm saying, he get into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gave me two pencils. He's like, I want you to write me two poems. And I'm like, poems? Like, just out the blue. He's like, yeah. You ain't gotta be about it. like you ain't gotta think of a concept, subject matter, nothing. Just to start writing. I said, all right. So I go ahead, you know, I cut the PlayStation off, you know what I'm saying? Hop on the bed, and I'm like, all right, the hell am I about to write about? You know what I'm right. saying? So he's like, look, anything that come to mind. So I said, all right, cool. Just start writing. You know what I'm saying? I start talking about school. I start talking about, you know what I'm saying? How I ain't got no bread right now. <laughs> I want some money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I just started talking about random stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I finished that joint up, finished the two joints, you know, go to my pop's room. And I'm like, these the poems. He started reading them. And he like, yo, for your first two poems, these are actually not bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, they can use some work, but. For your first though, you know what I mean? These are not bad at all. Yeah. The crazy part about it is the next day when we go back to school, my English teacher talking about something, yeah, we getting ready to get into uh, haikus and sonnets. And I'm like, that's wild. Right. Because my pops just literally got me writing. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay. I see, I, I, I see where it's going. So got my beats. I'm like, okay, I'm sitting there like on a random night. I'm just listening to them joints. And I'm like, hmm. Let me put two and two together. So I looked through my poems. Right. Looked through my poems. You know what I'm saying? I'm li- like I said, I'm going through the beats too. And I start reading them joints and I start listening to the beat. I'm like, yo, like, okay, I think I might have something here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right. Kind of alter it a little bit, see if I could put a hook to this joint, put a verse, another verse or whatever. And it was it was cool. I was like, all right, I think I could do something to this joint. So I hit my boy up that, you know, got me to Jason House. Right. I'm like, yo, when the next time you heading back over there? He's like, for real, for real, now that you call it, like, yo, I'm actually supposed to be heading back over there this coming weekend. I'm like, all right, cool. Yo, you think I could slide through with you? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jason remembers you, so he's like, yo, slide through. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no thing. So I'm like, all right, cool. After school, I mean, I think it was that Friday. After school, we heading straight to this man house. You know what I mean? And um, I get in that drum. I'm like, yo, I got this beat, but I also got these lyrics. I'm trying to, you know, do a little something to it. So he's like, all right, cool. Get in the booth. And of course, you know, I'm off beat, off key, all that yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm sounding horrible. You know yeah. what I mean? But he's like, yo, breathe for one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you're kind of nervous. I know you got jitters. You know what I'm saying? You probably like going crazy fast through this song. Just breathe for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a drink of water. You know what I'm saying? All right. Do the song the way you envisioned it when you wrote it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was on beat and everything when you wrote it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right. Take yourself back to that time when you was writing it and deliver it that way. Ever since that day, that's how I've been delivering my songs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I like to deliver them drinks. As I'm, as I'm writing them, it's like I'm, I'm envisioning like, all right, how I want it to go, how I want the ad libs to go, how I want certain, you know, harmonies to go and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Get in that joint, flame it. You know what I'm saying? Flame it. And I'm like, get out. I get out there. I get out the booth to hear, actually hear it. And of course, you know, as like every artist or every producer, they hear themselves and they speak it. That's that moment, like, yo, that's me. Shit sound crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it crazy. sound crazy, but at the same time, that's me though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. And I'm like out here bugging like crazy, like, yo, that's me on the fucking record, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, I'm like, I don't know, man. I may have to keep doing this. So I keep writing, I keep making beats, and 
I want to say fast forward to college. I'm like, yeah, back when I used to go to PG, shout out to PG Community College. You know what I'm saying? That's when I made that decision. I said, yeah, I want to do this full time. I want to I want to take this for, like as far out further as I could possibly take it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, you know what I'm saying, if possible, Michael Jackson status. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But of course, Lord willing. You know what I mean? So I'm like, like you said, college times. I'm like, look, I'm getting in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, meeting new people. You know what I'm saying? A little bit intimidated because I'm like, all right, it's college. You know, I don't yeah. know what the hell to expect. So I get in there. I'm meeting people and everything. Meeting, you know, folks that also, too, do music as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We used to have the student lounge. Get up in there. You had a couple guys over there in the corner making beats on their laptops. A couple guys are over there. They over there, you know what I'm saying, writing songs and stuff like that. They get up in, you know what I'm saying, there, and they just start just, it's almost like an incubator. Everybody just doing their own thing for real. Yeah. Which is what I really loved about, you know, PG at that time because everybody. Which, which campus? Um, I want to say the main joint out there in Largo. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody was really much just doing their own thing. And I feel like at that time when we went, I want to say probably like 2012 to like 2016. Mm-hmm. Or 2015 was like the golden time for like a lot of creators because then we had we had the Mac Club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Mac Club was like you know it was abbreviated for Music Appreciation Club. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to my boy O'Shea. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the one that and I, I think him between him and a couple other guys, they was the one that started that club. Right. And I was like, look, I just want to be a part. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Right. In charge or have no administrative and nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a part of the jump. Mm -hmm. So like. Every time we would like start the club, or we we would have like you know what I'm saying meetings and stuff, we would start off with a cipher. You know what I'm saying? So guys who like like the rap, like to just come off the cuff, we'd be like, look, hey, look, we about to have a a cipher to open up this meeting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Anybody that want to join, you can join in, tap in, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So the great thing about that was that they actually they didn't go on like YouTube and look for beats. They tapped in with the producers there, yeah, play day joints, and we went in on them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I really like I really enjoyed that because that really showed love to like anybody that was just in there just that just loved music. That's what it right. was. It's music appreciation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whether if you were like if you play violin, sax, or whatever, or you just off the FL tip, Pro Tools tip, and you know, you doing your thing, or if you a writer, you was there. You know what I'm saying? You right. was in that joint. So it was it was really dope to be able to be connected because that also too got you you know, acclimated to a lot of artists that was there that actually took it further. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Than just PG. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that was a that was a dope time. So I think at that time, that's when like I really wanted to go ahead and really take it serious and actually make a career out of it. You know what I'm saying? And my homegirl Nia, shout out to Nia that's out there in Cali doing her thing. She is a dancer. I think we both said to ourselves, like, yo, I think I think college is done for us for real. For real. I think we like really about to just take our careers there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at that point we was like, look, left PG and was like, look, we just gonna do our own thing. She went out to Cali, she Elevated, she propelled. I mean, next thing you know, you see her doing videos with Cardi B. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just big names. She out there on tour with Kim and all that. So yeah, shout out to Nia. You know what I'm saying? She doing her thing. Yeah. And you know I mean, but it's honestly like through the times when we used to have those performances there at the campus, man. I'm just like, yo, just the whole time I'm thinking like, we need to be taking this on a bigger scale because we doing this on a college level. So then why can't we do this on a universal level for real? Yeah. Take it. A, you know, all over the country, different countries and stuff like that. Just really just going crazy because it's something we passionate about. It's, mm -hmm. This is what we, this our crafts. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? My mom's always been like, yo, do something that you love. And if you love doing it, let your skill, which is like whatever nine to five you have, fun for mm -hmm. that dream. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. So, and which is a good segue for anybody that's watching this joint, bro. If you got a nine to five and you got a dream that you're pushing, whether it be your artist or you... You trying to open up a bakery or whatever, whatever it is, bro, bro. Keep working that nine to five, bro, and stack that bread up. You know what I'm saying? Because what it's doing for you, it's literally helping you in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It's getting you everything it's that you need. Everything it's that getting you, need. you the mics. It's getting you the everything. the podcast. Yes. It's getting you everything that you need everything. to fund the the passion and your goals. Absolutely, especially with the music, bro. Oh, especially that. Especially with the music. Especially that because this it, stuff is nah. expensive. It's very expensive, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To all my, you know, to all my, you know, my shooters out there, my cameramen, my videographers out there, I know y'all out there grinding, getting into the pavement, trying to get these shoots and all that stuff done. Stack the money up. Yeah. These cameras ain't cheap. 
You know what I'm saying? These these these, Fuck these the cameras, stuff, the software, it's the ain't lenses. Cheap. Yeah, the lenses itself that ain't Yo, cheap. The lenses, all of that. You can the get stands. a nice camera. Yeah, all of that, bro. Like, cause I mean, yeah, you can go on eBay, Amazon, get you a nice refurbished camera. Cool. Yeah. All right, that's a bet. But like you said, the lenses though. <laughs> oh, them lenses. Them bro. lenses is yeah. They them they lenses. they them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They yeah. they they collecting they collecting guap off that. So yeah. like we understand. So it's like all right. You're not gonna automatically just jet to the seven, six, seven, eight figures. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We understand that. So do what you gotta do. Get them Amazon shifts in. Get them warehouse shifts in. Do what yeah, you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Get them two or three, the three jobs. Hey, it's funding your skill, your dream. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Your skill funding your dream. So do that. But heading back to topic, like, you know what I'm saying? In college, bro, like I didn't have McDonald's jobs. You know what I'm saying? Working at Target. Work in the warehouse, all that, just to keep funding this joint. And I'm like, bro, these experiences, honestly, you could take a lot from. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. If you see yourself to the point to where you really want to take it to the highest potential, all right, with those celebrities that's doing it now, they got crazy schedules. Right. Can barely sit down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got to wake up four or five o'clock in the morning just to be able to execute everything that's on their schedule for that day. Right. You work in these nine to five jobs, got a clock in seven o'clock in the morning. Think about yourself actually doing that, but with your actual career. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because think about it. You're not just only going to be in the stool. You're going to be hitting interviews. You're going to be talking to other people, meeting, torn. sponsorships, touring, yeah. all of that, bro. Look at that aspect with that, and I promise you, bro, you're going like, ah, right, yeah, the drive is going to be different. The work ethic is right. going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, yo, you got to really just think about it and put yourself in those type of shoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if this is seriously what you want, you got to think about those things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so with that, with that, when you started doing your music and PG, mm-hmm. um, word on the street is that you had like a deal on the table. Mm. Yeah, at, yeah. At one point. You know what I'm saying? Well, who was point. the deal with? It was... um. It was a. Uh, uh, it was what. You, it was with. Uh, what was it? Hey, now, now I'm thinking. It was actually with this management company. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Can't. Re- it was something entertainment incorporated. Can't remember the name. Charges to my head, not to my heart. But they wanted to push me. You know what I'm saying at the time because they heard what was being put out when I put out. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I did that sample and stuff like that, they like yo, like. That record itself, that joint was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I think when I did that record, you know what I'm saying, people really started opening their eyes to what what I was really doing, what I was really trying to move, how I was really trying to come off, what brand I'm really trying to paint for people to see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they was rocking with it. Like, look, he can <laughs> he can deliver. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I felt like at the time, like when we was talking and really having these meetings and stuff like that, like I'm I'm I go off energies, vibes, yeah. heavy. You know what I'm saying? And how you treat me and like how you treat my camp and stuff like that, that that's big for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm heavy on respect. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I I can care less if you're the president of the United States, you could be 50 cent, daddy. I don't care who you are, what accolades you got, bro. If you don't respect me, we ain't got business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's just what it is. Okay. Respect comes first. Mm-hmm. It's universal for me. Yeah. So it's like I felt like at that time, bro, like... What um, year was that, too? It had to be been probably 20... Um, probably 2019, 2020. 2019, you know what I'm 2020? Probably around that time, or maybe a little bit earlier. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm purely just coming off the top. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? But it was, it, was, it was real because, you know, at the time, I think also, too, that was, I was getting introduced to Rob. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was getting introduced to Miko and stuff like that. And um, right. I remember... He was shout put, out to Miko. Yeah, shout out to Miko, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had put me on games for a lot of stuff. He done got me set up with a lot of events, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He got me performing at Sister Sister, Sister to Sister event. Remember the magazine? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got me performing there for their 2.0 launch event, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he got me, you know, through the door to a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Got me to meet a lot of people. He was the one that helped me, um, you know, meet, uh, what would you call it? Uh, what's the legend name? Biz Marquis. Yeah. Shout out to him. Rest in peace to Rest him. Rest in peace to you know what I'm saying? You know, he a New York legend, so, you know, I I had to talk with him. And, you right. know, I remember he was saying, like, yeah, Rob, me, Rob put me on to, you know, to your stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was like, well, any advice you can give to a young cat like me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because, you know, you a whole, bro, you know what it is. You've you been through, your, your, you know, your, your stuff. You've mm-hmm. been through your, your, your career as a youngin' coming on up. 
And from you to go to a whole rap career to you being a DJ, that's crazy. You know what right. I'm saying? And I think that was dope. But he was just saying, honestly, truly, to stay true to who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of people that try to take you off of what you envision for yourself. Mm -hmm. Stay true. You know what I'm saying? And from then on, I said, okay, cool. I'm going to stay true to who I am. You know what I'm saying? And from then on, but um, yeah, I didn't think that relationship with that management company was going to be a good fit for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And the, the people who was helping me at the time, you know what I'm saying? They felt the same, honestly. Yeah. It was like, yo, I don't know, man. They didn't look like they was trying to, you know, really put you in the right position for real, for especially the way they talking to you and all that, bro. Right. Like, nah, because if, like, if I'm going to work with you, especially off the long term, we got to have that mutual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It has to be there. I'm not going to sit here and do business with you, and it's like, nah, we don't treat each other with respect, bro. Like, I'm a professional, you a professional, we all professional. Let's just let's just keep it that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully we can cross into, you know, from the professional to the personal. We can mm -hmm. start building deeper relationships. Yeah. But if, if I'm meeting you off the business tip, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm coming with you with straight respect professionally off the, off the gate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to see the person that I am, and I want to see who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but... Yeah, man. I, I, I think Failed from there through. on, man, it was it was it was cool from there, man. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. what um what obstacles do you think you face from this whole journey hmm. so far? Like, what what some what some obstacles you think you face? Um, it's a good grip, I will say. To be honest, um, I would say the biggest obstacle. Well, not even the biggest. The biggest two obstacles that I faced over the years was financial mm -hmm. and mental. The mental health. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, I'm a youngin. You know what I'm saying? I'm grinding. I'm trying to get it all jumping off and stuff. And of course, you know, folks ain't really rushing to go ahead and be like, oh, hey, here's a deal. I'm going to give you some money for an advance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not really too fast trying to do that. So, I got to get it myself. You know what I mean? And yeah. at the time when my mom's was partnered with me at, for, for a good minute, you know, she was investing in me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Dukes. Love yeah, you. But um, you know what I'm saying? She was, you know, she was partnering with me for a good minute. I mean, helping me with my music videos, studio sessions, and all that. You know what I'm saying? And then at the time when I got introduced to Trilogy, you know what I'm saying? Um, back <laughs> this is back when it was M P. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. before they did the rebranding and all that. Right. That's when I got you introduced to JL. Shout out to JL, shout out to Big Bro. Yeah, shout you out to You know what I'm saying? I work I was working with JL for a good grip of my songs. And yeah. I mean, from from when I did, you know, Sky's Never the Limit to Forza to, I mean, it was a good amount of joints that people right. love now that he right. did. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I got introduced to all that, you know what I mean? And I, I mean, it was just going great. Part of that was like dealing with insecurities. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it thinking like, um, what they call that? Uh, imposter syndrome. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Thinking like you're not going to be good enough or you just not, you know what I'm saying? gonna be to that point to where like all right people will will respect you in your craft or give you like just give you the respect that that's deserved to you you yeah. know what i'm saying because i always thought about that like man like will i ever be respected will i ever be considered a great will i ever be you know mm -hmm. considered somebody who's you know dope you know what i mean but right. i had to like tell myself and of course people who i would like talk with and stuff like that constantly tell me bro you can't worry about that Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what other people thinking about you. Right. You can't worry about, you know what I'm saying, how people feel and stuff like that. Like, in a sense, it can help you, yes. Mm -hmm. But also, in a sense, it could be, because it's kind of bittersweet. It can, it can either make you or break you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you, that's where that, that self-confidence, that self-esteem really got to come into play and be like, you know that you dope. You know that you, you know what I'm saying, you 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 make that fire, yeah. that fire flame, you know what I'm saying? You you know what you bring to the table. Right. You just got to like stay firm in it and stay bold, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be in a room like, you know, from time to time with other artists that are hella confident in what they can do cuz guess what? They're going to be there at that event or that meeting and mm -hmm. stuff like that and they're like, "Yeah, this is what I got to offer. This is me. Right. This is that." They putting it all on the table. And whether people, you know, fuck with it or not, it's like at that point it's like, "All right, look, I'm going to still walk away with this joint, still feeling the way that I feel about myself. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of honest, that, that type of uh, attitude, honestly, that you really have to have in this kind of industry. You know what I'm right. saying? Just being a creator, period. For real, for real. So what, what mental, what mental uh, issue or, or obstacle that you had that mm -hmm. was really getting to you the most? Because I know you said something about, you know what I mean, like the financial mm -hmm. and the mental part, mm -hmm. of, you know, the imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. 
what what do you feel like that carried it like help me elevate like past that no nah, no nah, what helped what what not what helped like what what caused it oh what like, caused it what okay. caused it cuz you know what i mean it's been times where you were like come out hot mm-hmm. and then you will you will fizzle out mm-hmm. and i know like i check on you you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like, sure. I'm like hey what's bro what's going on like sure. you know what i'm saying granted i know one issue your your pops passed away yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah. i know that 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 definitely. that's a gap definitely you know a what huge mean? one it's a big gap, mm-hmm. a but huge one. I know it was other issues, you know what I'm saying, it that was. you was having before your pops yeah. had passed away. Yeah. What was those? You want to talk about those? The biggest one for me was social media. Social media, straight up. Constantly looking at everybody, what they doing and stuff, and like comparing myself. Yeah. I had to nip that in the bud, like, quick, fast. I had to. Because if I'm constantly just... You know, and, you know, shout out to my wife that really helped me with that. Like, if I'm constantly just, you know, just looking at everybody on there, she's like, babe, like, you can't compare yourself constantly with what they're doing and what you're doing because they have their own journey. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They have their own journey. They have their own path that they walk. You have yours. What's meant for them will be for them. What Mm -hmm. God has for you will be for you, and no man will, will be able to stop that. Right. So, like, Cause you're gonna have people that like the same way how you're feeling right now, by everybody, everybody doing this, they got video, they got show. They, how come I'm not to that point yet? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just constantly comparing, and I'm putting myself mentally in a very dark space. Right. You know what I'm saying? There were times where I contemplated suicide. There were, you know, I had actual attempts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There were times where, of course, I'm like, well, shoot, man, look, if I'm not there by a certain age or a certain time, then bump this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nah, and I'm. Like, through the conversations that I've had with other people, you know, just talking about, you know, those type of mental health things, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking to myself, like, if I was to really cut myself off, you know what I'm saying, and not continue to keep pushing myself, would I be happy? Right. Would I second guess this or would I not second guess it? Because even before, like, I was on the verge of really saying, like, I'm done, Mm -hmm. the second guessing was crazy, bro. Like, I mean, like, I'm constantly like, Maybe I shouldn't stop. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, you know, maybe I'm just tripping. That's why, like, when I had that one episode, you know what I'm saying, and I hit you up, and I was like, bro, let me know that I'm not tripping. Like, let me know yeah. I'm tripping if I'm bugging or something because I'm like yeah. mentally I'm going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? Telling you, like, man, listen, you like I seen the post, <laughs> yeah, and it was like, I'm done with music. Mm-hmm. Don't hit me up. Don't call me. Don't text yeah. me. Nah, I went and crazy I, that I, you know what I mean? I respect if somebody's saying something on social media yeah. that I'm close to. Yeah. I'ma respect what he's saying. I'm not gonna hit you up. Like, sure. yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was just like, damn, bro. Like he was just yeah. recording. You was just with JL. Like, mm-hmm. and you know, I know for a fact. Like as an engineer, you know what I'm saying? Like, we put in so much. Work, bro. A lot. <laughs> we put in so much work. A lot. Especially between you and J.O., dog. Yeah, like, like, we put in so much work yeah. to to an artist that we work with, and it just, mm-hmm. they just shut it off. Mm-hmm. Like, for us, it's like, we always say this, and it's me always, mm-hmm. I can't want this shit more than you. Oof. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact, bro. And, and I tell artists that all the time, like, if you don't want this shit more than me, then I don't know if we're going to be able to work. That's a fact, man. But the fact that, like, I was watching you, you mm. know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is we all coming from the same, we, we're coming up together. Mm-hmm. So it's like, granted, like, you, you're not a part of the 10 zeros, but mm-hmm. you're, you're a part of it because mm-hmm. we're, <laughs> we're doing shit all the time together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you didn't get a snap to say you 10 zeros. Right, and, right, right. You know what I mean? Nobody told you, you the found, you one of the members and yeah. this, this and that. But like, I didn't care about that because for one, bro, we working together. We, you, you, you around S. Yeah. You around everybody. We are we together. So yeah. like we coming up together. And, and I think, I think that part, I had to drill to you. Like, yeah. look, bro, like. Absolutely. Just because you're not 10 0 don't mean you can't still rock and do mm-hmm. work with us. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, yo, as an engineer, we like, hey, bro. <laughs> not yeah. again. Yeah. Not yep. again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you spoke with JL after, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, if you haven't, you should reach out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like we 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 constantly believe in so many artists. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's just like I just been like. I don't know. Like if if I ain't if 
if if I see anything like you kind of finicky, yeah, like I'm gonna address you and, yeah. and see where you at, like see if you straight or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we don't have to just keep it a, a music relationship because it's it's deeper than that. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's why, like, when you called me, you was like, "Bro, am I tripping? Yeah. You see my post? Yeah. I said, "Yeah, I saw it." Mm-hmm. He's like, "Why you ain't say nothing?" I said, "Bro, you told me not to say yeah, nothing." Yeah. Like, yeah, why yeah, I'm going to yeah, say yeah, something, yeah. you said, don't call me, don't text me, right. don't DM me. All right, I'm absolutely. going off, hey, if somebody tell me that, that's like a girl, don't call my phone. No cap. Don't text me. No cap. I'm through with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you wasn't directing it at me. Right. You right. know what I mean? Absolutely. But I knew you was directing it at the people. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, shit, I'm the people. So it's like, <laughs> damn, all right. Yeah. I'm not going to text. Because I've always had, like, people, like, when I post certain shit on social media, like, they would, like, hit my phone right there and there. Yeah. And for the ones that would do that, you know what I'm saying? Of course, love to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no bad blood or anything and stuff yeah. like that. It's just sometimes, like, I just need that time to resonate. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And really just be like, all right, let me process all this. You know what I'm saying? Do what it do and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I, I get, I understand the love because that's what it really, that's really what it is. It's yeah. coming from, a, a you know, a good intention place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A good place. So it's like, I understand that when y'all do reach out, it's like, is everything cool? Is everything great? But sometimes... You know, as an artist, as a creator, you know what I'm saying? We just need that time to really process and really be able to go through, you know, those times on yeah. our own sometimes. So it's like, I kind of had to put that in that video to be like, all right, yeah, like, please just respect my space, yeah. respect my time and stuff like that. But for the people that I know for a fact that don't do that, yeah, like, it's like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there was a few of them that did reach out that don't do that and was like, bro, you straight? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, because you don't normally do this. You right. know what I'm saying? It had to have been something that, probably triggered this for you to act this way because I know you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You a hella positive person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you, you just that guy that just have a light about yourself. So for you to post a video like that, I know there's something So was wrong. it was it social media attacking again? What was it? It was social media. It was social media partly and constantly, like, thinking about myself, like, am I actually going to get to that, that point to where I want to be? Right. Over... Overthinking. That's the word I was looking for. Dots. Overthinking. You know what I'm saying? You know what? There's one thing I tell Eddie. I didn't tell him since day one. Dots. Mm. Yeah. And shout out to um uh what's his name? Cause see, I got it from him. It's him. It's uh-huh. not it's not my saying. Right, right, um, right, right. What's the beat make? The producer. Uh Kenny Beats. Okay. Kenny Beats Fire. He used to yeah. have this little uh, uh no, he, he used to have this uh YouTube where he'd have like artists come in, he'll make a beat on the spot and they start rapping. Go, yeah, they go in the booth and start rapping or whatever. Yeah, I peeped that. Shout out to Kenny. On 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 his joint in the booth, yeah, he had this neon lights. Yeah. That shit said, Don't overthink shit. Mm. Dots. hmm So that's what I tell everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Eddie, shit, even myself. Yeah. Cause I be through that, bruh. Yeah. I'm telling you. Nah, when my it. cousin passed away, Quiz, I was yeah. like, "Yo, shout out to Cuz. I I can't, I can't do it no more. Like, you know I what I'm saying? It. I'm I'm done. I you know what I mean? Yeah. And and then I was just like, bro, I can't stop something that God gave me. You know what I'm saying? That was it. <laughs> that was like, it. Why why would I stop? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? And it's like, it's okay to take a break. Yeah. I had to learn that though. It's I had okay to learn that though. It's okay to. to take a break, but. Yeah. Just because you're taking a break don't mean you still ain't active. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's hard that. because for us as creators, mm-hmm. you have to be somewhat present on social media. Some way. You don't got to show your face yeah, all yeah. the time, but mm-hmm. you got to be some way present so people know that, hey, you might be taking a break, but he's still, he's still posting yeah. shit. He's still, okay, oh, Tweez just posted some shit over mm-hmm. beat or or shit, tweets just because everybody thought I stopped with this when I started the podcast. Yeah. I said, no, nah, this this is another it's another just, platform, it's another avenue. That's it's all. Another, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can switch lanes anytime Indeed. I need to. Exactly. Because you you're not on the same road every time you're driving. That's a fact. You know what I mean? I can yeah. get to many opportunities and locations different ways. I'm just going so hey, many. I'm taking this route right, mm-hmm. real quick. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The GPS said this route, but at the same time, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the music ain't gonna never stop. Nah, nah, nah. So it's nah, like it's that's why when you not. when you when you called me, you was like, "Bro, am I tripping?" I said, "Yes, <laughs> you tripping." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like you tripping, tripping. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about, bro? I just seen you in the studio working yeah. with JL. Like, yeah, you tripping. Yeah, and yeah. um, but that also gave gave me the opportunity to to understand like 
what's going like what's really going on like what you're going through and you know sometimes man you got to sit down and have those talks yeah with your people you yeah. know what i'm saying because we always on the go we got lives you know what yeah. i'm saying life be life and i got kids you know what i'm saying you for got sure. a wife for sure like you know what i mean everybody got somebody you yeah. know what i'm saying so it's like true indeed it's a lot of things going on and i think um sometimes we forget to just fuck the music and let's talk let's just chop it up that's why i told you when when you pulled up that one time i said bro like you can just hit me if yeah. I'm home, like pull up on me. You know what I'm sure. saying? For sure. Pull up on me. We can just chop it up, play the game, Indeed. watch, watch, fucking watch football, football, you know, sports, whatever you want to do. Fact. We can just chill. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, bro, like I care more about you as the person mm -hmm. than I do just the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel when you got a relationship with that person, mm -hmm. that music is gonna come out so much better every time. You know what I'm saying when you're working on the music and shit. So like that's why I was just like, yeah, bro. Yeah. We, we need to recalibrate. And like, you got to recalibrate. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and you coming over here, too, I think that helped. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It helped and, a, big, a big deal, bro. Yeah, because it was like, bro, you 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 need you need to just have them talks to, you know, them, them, them big bro. For sure. Big bro, little bro talks. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being a little bro. Man, look. Everybody was somebody smaller. <laughs> nah, nephew, facts, bro. Little bro, nothing whatever. Wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. And it's no, it's no disrespect. It's just, hey, I'm just, bro, I'm 38. You, yeah. How old are you? Shoot, 29. See what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. 29. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, nothing you know what wrong I mean? I just got more experience. That's and look, all. And that's the thing, like, you know what I'm saying? When you, you know, for coming from a family, like, like that's really big on, like, spreading wisdom amongst yeah. our members and shit like that. Like, when I see somebody else that's really, like, speaking life, speaking good, and, you know, they, they speaking game upon all other young cats that's trying to get it. Yeah. That level of respect for me, honestly, truly, is going to go all the way up there. Because it's like, all right, you got so many people that like to gatekeep a lot of shit, mm -hmm. bro. And they like to keep it to themselves. And it's like, you can't do that. Especially right. if you if you want the next generation to really prosper and really to be like in a place where it's like they not self-sabotaging themselves. Mm -hmm. And they not getting into, you know, bad deals or bad situations and stuff like that. Yo. Give them that game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you see what's going on out here. The yeah. crime rate going high. All mm. this stuff, bro. You got, you know what I'm saying, 14, yeah. 15 year old kids over here toting straps, bro. For and what? it's like, wow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But half of that also, too, half of the reason why is because, you know what I'm saying, of course, it starts in the home. Mm. But also, too, who do they really have in their life? What mentors do they have? They ain't got no OGs. Are they going to the, you know, the OGs, too? The you know what I'm saying? saying are, they, the are they talking to the OGs? Yeah. Yeah. Are they peeping game? Are they getting the gems? Are they going to the wild, you know what I'm saying, to play ball, they, you know, stay up off the streets, go to the local rec center or something, you know that's what I'm saying? That's the problem. There ain't no really, no, it ain't a lot of rec centers, bro, that's allowing Man. these kids to come. The many you know times that I went to the rec to go ball, bro, I'm the, trying The Boys and Girls you. Club kept me out the streets. What? Same. The Same. Boys and Girls Club kept me out the streets. I'm trying to tell you, it was between balling at the court or just being in the cribs is awesome video game type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really what it was for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, of course, my pops was, was heavy on basketball, you know, him coming up. So, of course, he wanted that for all of his sons and stuff like that. Of course, I really wasn't serious about it, but I still played, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, it kept me out of trouble. Right. You know what I'm saying? Doing video games, constantly trying to, you know what I'm saying, see what the next game coming out, watching anime. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. for sure, like, that's those are the things that I was interested in. So, it's like, all right, cool. Like, my bros is always outside, you know, being active and all that shit like that. But it's like, me personally, like, I really wouldn't, didn't really care about the crowd for real. And mm -hmm. I'm still like that now. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm sociable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm you a need people to person. Be. Exactly. The only Especially at the career be. that you at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, for you need sure. To be. Definitely. But one thing I can say, and I'm, and it's crazy because a lot of people would say, like, they would never thought. As a kid, bro, I was a shy ass dude, bro. Like, I was hella shy. Mm -hmm. And folks would say, like, bro, like, the way that you are now, I would have never thought that would be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if my pops was still here, he can tell you, because he was the main one trying to bring me out of that, yeah. dog. But he was like, it's cool, because he got high school, and he got to be sociable yeah, up in that motherfucker. Be. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no ducking. No, you not at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dog, yeah, he got high school, so he, he going to break out of that eventually. Yeah. Sure enough, that's exactly what happened. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So look. We got, we as artists, mm -hmm. music creators, For sure. producers, we have a thing, um, an issue, a big issue that I've been running across with artists. Mm -hmm. You the artist, I'm the producer mm -hmm. or the engineer, whatever. Right. You put out a song. What do you do after you put out that song? 
well, you got to make sure the credits is there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to make sure that if they, whatever person that played a role, you got to make sure they do that. But also, too, like, if you put the song out, you got to push it. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? So my issue I've been running across is the credits, bro. Yeah, you got you to gotta give people their credit, bro. Like, for engineers yeah. and producers. Yes. All of them. Like, yeah. how you not give that person credit? And let me let me just give you some game. For sure. You, you know it, but I, I'm giving you game for everybody else. Absolutely. Yeah. For all the artists that's out there, you got Distro Kid, you got United Masters, you got TuneCore, Tune you got Core, um, Symphonic. Symphonic. You got all of these distribution platforms mm-hmm. to put your music out, right? Yeah. Just because you sent a split through one of them mm-hmm. doesn't mean the credit is going to go on to your PRO. Mm-hmm. If you have a PRO, ASCAP, yeah. BMI, or CSAT, you know yep. what I mean, for the, the United States. Yep. So you send an invite through these platforms. Yeah. All right, bro, here go your 50% as mm-hmm. a producer, your 40% if you collab, 30, 20, mm-hmm. 10, 5, yep. whatever your percentage is, yep. right? Yeah. You have to go and put that. You got to put that in there, man. And your ass cap and BMI. Yeah. Because I've been seeing a lot of artists, mm-hmm. and it ain't even artists that I deal with. Yeah. It be people that I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's been some artists I deal with, too. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, all this time I done spent doing this record with you. Like, and you ain't. Crazy. Not nothing. I look, because I'm big, bro. Like, this one thing about me, if anybody know me, when my first, I bought my first records, mm-hmm. CDs, yeah. back in the day, yeah. I would open that booklet and mm-hmm. that pamphlet and I'd go Check to the credits. credits. Yep. <laughs> who produced this? Yeah. Who who wrote this? Mm-hmm. Because I wanted to, I was so intrigued at the the, the sound yeah, selection. Like, and I'm like, yo, bro, For who sure. is this? Timberland, Pharrell, yep. Yep. Uh, Dame Grease. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, like Dr. Dre, like all these producers, writers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, Sean Garrett, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, Troy Taylor, like Whatever. all Forever, of these, bro. all yeah. of these creatives, bro. Yeah, and I would see their names, and I'd be like, "Yo, I can tell." For me, mm-hmm. like I know when I hear a Eric Bellinger record, mm-hmm. if he's not singing on it, mm-hmm. I know his, his style sound. of producing. Yeah, I know his sound of writing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I know when when the writer writes, I know who that is. Yeah, but even now, I go look at the credits on the phone now. For sure. And now Apple, shout out to Apple. Yeah. They, you can actually see the credits now. Absolutely, you know I mean? Because yeah. Spotify and Tidal was like the only one. Oh, yeah, they was big on that, for sure. They were the only one that you can actually see the credits. Definitely. And Tidal get real in-depth, like. Which I love. Like the bass player. Which I love. Like all of that. Like, I but love that. For me, artists, mm-hmm. producers, engineers, whoever's, whoever's submitting the stuff, please. Yeah, make sure that credit is out there. Make bro. sure these people credit is there. Mm-hmm. And make sure. Like I even messed up a couple times where mm-hmm. I, I like I think I spelled I think uh Juno name or something mm-hmm. wrong. Yeah. But it then, yeah, it happens. Yeah. But guess what? That name's still there. Still so it ain't is. like I, I didn't put you on That's there. But yeah. it's just the dealing with the the ass cap to fix the dang on issue. That's yeah. the problem. Like yeah. you gotta worry about that. But I take that one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you're not putting nobody name on your joint. That's worse than just misspelling somebody's name for yeah. real, for real. Like that's a lot worse. Like it's like, yo, like, like you didn't think about me at all. Like, like, so, so just fuck me, right? Nah, Pause. no cap. Like, just, like, you know what I mean? Like just <laughs> yeah. What? Like, like come on, bro. like bro. Like I didn't spend like twenty four, you know forty eight hours on hours. one. You know what I'm saying? I mix it, send it back to you. You yeah. send it back. You know what I'm saying? Can you do this? All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Mind you, and I'm not charging you. Mm, see now. So that's where it like hits, bro. Cause it like hits really, yeah, it really does. If I'm not charging you, come on, bro. That's a slap in the face, bro. It's like, bro, like, and that's what you said. You said, bro, I'm big on respect. Yeah. You ain't gotta love me. You don't. Nah, respect you really don't, me though. But respect me though, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's you ain't fact. gotta love me. I don't, I don't expect everybody to love me. Nor like me. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? But you're gonna respect me. That's and if fact. you can't respect me. How the f- like I can't nothing. rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I can't I can't move with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, I seen it time mm-hmm. and time again. And it's like when I took when I took my I didn't even take a break. I just stepped 
back yeah. to see what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Around musically. Yeah. And I'm just looking like, damn. Hmm. Like what is what is this this music industry coming to, dog? Oh, like gosh. you have the opportunity, like you said, to yeah. put out so much music mm-hmm. at a cyclic rate. I just check my stats. Yeah. Distro kids putting out twenty five thousand songs a day. That's a grip of songs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just one platform. Yeah, just one on its own. Let's just say, matter of fact, title, no, yeah. uh, United Masters, yeah. they have over a million artists on their platform, yeah. just like DistroKid, a million plus. For That's, sure. what, that's the f- first thing you see, a million plus artists yeah. signed yeah. to this distribution company, mm-hmm. right? 25,000 songs a day. I should tell you right there. And you can't even give your people's credit? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, because that's, like, other artists, like, like, and other producers and stuff like that, they, when they listen to music and stuff like that, like you said, you'll open up that joint, go to the book and see who did a specific record. Yeah. They potentially going to want to know who that person is, so they may reach out to that person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yo, I just heard you on Drake's album. Yo, I yeah. saw that you did that joint track five. Yo, you went crazy. Hey. Let's link up. Hey, send me your email. You know what I'm right. saying? Because at that point, it's like, bro, like, that's what the credits are for. Just you know like saying? social media. Yeah. If I'm collabing with a producer, mm-hmm. I'm going to collab and I'm going to make sure I put their name. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And boom. Now, do I do I do it all the time? When it's a new person, mm-hmm. yes, I do it all the time because the people that are on my followers, they mm-hmm. don't know who he is. So, of course, they need to- Trying to get him acclimated. Yeah, yeah. And everybody don't know, like, for instance, if I repost your joint. Yeah. It's gonna come to you regardless. Facts. But I don't have to say your name because I reposted your post. Exactly. But a lot of people don't know that if they touch the post, it, it'll go straight to your yeah, yeah, exactly. thing. So sometimes I put it on there mm-hmm. and it's me doing marketing, just analytical stuff. Like I'm trying Absolutely. to see who does this and who does that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I'm trying to figure out what works and what don't work. Yeah. But you're not even, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm sending, I'm, I, all right, hey. Work with this producer. Mm-hmm. I'm telling producer, hey, look, my boy, I just collab with my boy. Work with this producer. Work with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Like, I'm not physically or or saying it like, hey, you need to go work with him. Yeah. But just work with him. Just work you with know what I'm saying? Though. Like, yeah. hey, work, hey, go. Like, at some point. And I don't, look. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, my goal is to put people in positions. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You've always been like that, But though. my you know only saying? thing is, it's like I said all the time, I don't want the fame. Yeah. I just want my bread. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I take the I fortune. I want my bread and my acknowledgement. I would A take and the B. fortune. That's the only two I need. That's it. Acknowledgement mm-hmm. and bread. But That's if it. you ain't acknowledging and I already done waved the bread from you, hmm. what we doing? At, at, at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at that point. <laughs> what we doing, real. bro? So, yeah, man, it's it's a lot of people out there, man. I just want y'all to know. Artists, man. Yeah. Producers. Yeah. I ain't just putting it on the artists. Artists, producers, enge- engineers, creatives. hmm Make sure y'all and songwriters, cause y'all yeah, y'all are really too. bad with that. Y'all <laughs> y'all swear it. y'all just it's just y'all song and nobody else get any percentage no. on that. Like they it. write the verses, somebody did a hook and be like, I right, stand, yeah, I, I wrote this whole joint. Yeah, but your man just wrote the whole hook, which they hear majority right. of the time of the song. And just to let y'all know, if we really breaking it down, uh huh, the hook, whoever wrote the hook, gets majority of the songwriting. Credits. That's that's pretty much what they're hearing the whole entire time. Yeah, you know the what hook saying? is what's selling it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's and a, and that's shout out fun. to Newland, bro. Newland, Newland gave me the whole breakdown on that. Cause you know, Newland be in the studio with Neo, yeah, Bobby Valentino, all of them cats down there in, 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 in the in the A. Yeah. And he, you know what I mean? That's my bro. And he gave me game. So it's like, if he giving me game. I'm about to spread it to my people up here. Ain't gonna cap. I'm shoot, man. I wasn't hip to that either. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna spread it. Whatever, because yeah. he's he's in that industry. He's close to he's, he's closer close to the yeah. yeah, he's close to the he's close to the people that we're trying to get to. That's a fact. So yeah. it's like, oh, why wouldn't I listen to him? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, prove me wrong. You know Facts. what I'm saying? But until then, I'm all ears to whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a I'm gonna spread the word. But I always, yeah. always inspect. What yeah. I expect. There you go. You get what I'm saying? There you go. So if if you giving me something, all right, let me go look that up real quick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if it's coming from somebody that's a source, mm-hmm. 
that's around the sources that we trying I'm to get. I'm gonna trust their word. I'm going with that <laughs> you know word. What I'm, I'm you know gonna trust their word than anybody who barely be around that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's like going to somebody, somebody who's in a marriage it's about relationship advice, and then you go to somebody who's single, who don't got good relationship advice. It's no. like, bro, you single for a reason, ain't you? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but right. you know what I'm saying? But one piece of game, honestly, truly, and this is from a producer who, you know, who I'm very much influenced by. His name is um Ao the producer. Shout out to him. You yep. know what I'm saying? He's Hella dope ass producer. Pray I get the work. AYO, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's he out fire. there, he out there in Orlando doing this thing out there. But um, one piece of game that I peeped from him from I think it was an interview he was doing, he was saying, like, when you link up with other creators and stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily have to just be music. When you link up with other creators and stuff like that, don't be quick to just talk about the work or the business. Yeah. Actually develop a relationship with that person first. Do you yes. know what I'm saying? Like yes. develop something like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Y'all both may have an interest in anime. Y'all both watch Bleach or it's Naruto or some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, you check that train out too? Hey, yo, yo, right. dog, I just saw the episode the other day, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that could spark something right. from there. Yo, by the way, what you do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that will be a great segue into that because, look, y'all started off. It's almost like getting into a whole relationship for real, like an actual relationship. Mm -hmm. Y'all start off as friends. Y'all right. build a bond with each other. And right. then... At that point, when y'all grow, you're just like, oh, snap. Well, I actually really do feel this person. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't coming to the table with a prenup. Like, hey, look, this is what I need. This is what I ain't going to Exactly. Coming with a whole you know contract or something like that. Like, like hold up. Like, I just met that. you, bro. Yeah. You know like, what I'm bro, saying? I don't even know if I'm going to like you after this. No you know cap. What I'm saying? Like, so, I just met you, bro. Yeah. So it's like, yo, like, let me see how you is first. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. Whether if you're a respectful person or not, did I know how I got to move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And from there, bro, it's like, all right, that's honestly was like the one of the best game the best gems that I've received for real, because that pretty much didn't paint the picture on how I need to come at folks. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, of course, you know, not come at folks, but like, all right, yo, introducing myself, I'm Marcus Allen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, hey, bro, you dope as hell, bro. You flies on, bro, them J's you got on your feet is yeah. flame. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Be a friend. You know what I'm saying? Be a cool dude. Right, Be a right. cool person. Because then at that point, then they will open up to you with mm -hmm. what they have. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You want to get them comfortable, bro. Because you you want to be comfortable with that person, too. Yeah. And just be, like, if you, I say be you. Yeah. But if you just a dirt bag, like, you don't need to be in that area anyway. You don't need to be in them mm -hmm. rooms. Not at all. Because they're going to they gonna expose you. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I tell people, hey, just go in there and be a fly on the wall. Yeah. When they call you. And that's the yeah, you know what I'm saying. When they call you, ask you for some some advice, or mm -hmm. they need you for this part, or what you think about this. Yeah, then that's when you you know what I mean. You come in and put your input, and then go back to the back. That's like, it. I'm, that's me, dog. Like I'm just observing. I'm surveying. Like yeah. that's why. Like even now, like I don't drink as much as I used to. Like mm -hmm. I don't. Even, I try not to drink at all. But you know, every I go you know every once in a while. But. I'm mm -hmm. always that guy, like, because I don't do the clubs no more. Same. You know what I mean? <laughs> Same. But if it's an event or something, I'm, yeah, playing, I'm playing the back. I'm in, I'm in the back. Yeah. I ain't trying to sneak nobody, but I'm just watching. You just seeing the room. I'm just watching the room yeah. to see who's who, see who operating. Word. Oh, he a little bit tipsy. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to deal with him. Mm -hmm. She a little feisty. Nah, she ain't about to cuss me out. You know what I mean? Word. But if they approach me. I'm going to still give like, them, you know what I mean? Good. Yeah, yeah sure. like, what's good? Yeah, so like, they approach me, I'm all ears, and you know what I'm saying? And I'm still going to address them with respect, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, man, some people, man, they just got to understand, like, yeah. when you get in those rooms, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get in those rooms, dog, like, this ain't this ain't that. Nah. You know what I mean? This ain't no BS. Like, like these people really, really paying, paying yeah. for these sessions and stuff like that. So you got to respect people's sessions. And, and the money, when they the ask time, you, when they that. ask you for that input, yeah. give it. If they don't ask for it, play the look, play the back. Dog. Take take, a, take note of what you've seen and how things were operated, and learn from it. Apply it and, yourself, and apply apply what works, and apply what don't, and and disregard what don't. You know that's what I'm saying? It. So yeah, man, that's the main thing. Um, yo, you got somebody, mm -hmm. um, in your life that be riding for you. Where you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brett. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to wifey. Shout out to the wifey, man. Shout um, out to Braddy. How you, how you feel going into, like, music when you know your wife got your, like, supporting you like that? Man, let me tell you something, man. When I tell you prayer works, it works, bro. Because, honestly, truly, like, 
before I even met my wife, bro, I mean, I was I was in a crazy, crazy relationship before her. Mm -hmm. And honestly, truly, I, I felt like, you know how, like, when you get into a situation where you feel like you hit rock bottom, that you couldn't go no lower than where you are, mm -hmm. the only direction you got to go, go is up now? Yeah. That was that situation, honestly, truly, because I felt like when I met her, like, she came out the gate. I, I remember it because I, I told you a story. We met off this app called Hinge. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Hinge. But um, we met off. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Hinge, though. You know what I'm saying? Yo. For if talk, you know. If you know, you, you know, know, bro. You, you know. just you just know. So You know. So she, look, I'm on that joint. Of course, you know, swiping, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. All right, cool, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Get to her joint. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, she a vibe. So, you know, hit the green check on that joint or whatever. So she hits me up after we matched. And she's like, yo, I hope this doesn't come off creepy, but I listen to every track that you put out, you know what I'm saying, on your Apple Music. And I'm like, word? Like, for real? Like, I'm I'm like, I didn't expect nothing. All I always expected was, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm yeah. saying? My name is such such. She just came out the gate and said, like, look, I just listen to everything you put out, dog. Off the gate, she let me know she's a music head. You right. know what I'm saying? She loves music. Right. And she supports. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest things that I pray for, for honestly, truly, in... My wife, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, look, I pray that she's a great person. She's a dope person. She's fun. You know, she has a relationship with God and she loves music. You know right. what I'm saying? That was the biggest thing for me. And out the gate, that's what it was. So, you know, as we continue to build, you know, the relationship and the friendship, honestly, truly, she was just like, look, for real, for real, not going to lie to you. Like, I would love to support you in your endeavors, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, in your career. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you support me. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm trying to support you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, actually partner with you in your business and your brand. I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, like, yeah. I, I have no problem. You know what I'm saying? Because she's done, like, you know what I'm saying, um, I guess you can say, quote, unquote, music management work mm -hmm. um, in the past. And I say, quote, unquote, because, you know, the people she was working with was kind of a little bit iffy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And stuff. So she couldn't really, like, dive into the way she really wanted to and stuff like that. But I guess when, you know, Honestly, when she when she when she met me and it was like that friendship, that bond that really made that, you know, when it happened and it connected, mm -hmm. she was just like, nah, like I think honestly, I was meant to do this type of work, but with you. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, just only you. You know right. what I mean? Because she's she she tried her hand at other artists and even mm -hmm. producers that right. she tried to, you know, manage per se. And they they I think what she said was they didn't have the drive mm -hmm. that I have for it. Right. And they didn't have, you know, the work ethic, like, trying to put in the work, like, even, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, of course, we have days where we be dead tired, but it's, like, at the same time, like, we still going to write these songs, we still going to make these beats, we still going to work on these tracks. Right. And they wasn't giving her that. But mm -hmm. from her looking from, you know what I'm saying, from afar, she's like, nah, I can tell right. you're that guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, to to have this type of ethic. So I want to partner with someone who has that. And she's mm -hmm. like, nah, like, I, I support you in that. So... From her, you know, popping out to different events and stuff like that, you know, just really working the room. And I'm like, yo, she's serious. So she was, you know, just out there just working the room and everything. And that kind of impressed me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that, like I said, you leaving me to go talk to people about me. Like, mm -hmm. you really playing your role. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I done worked with a good amount of people, you know what I'm saying, that claim that, okay, yeah, I'm going to represent you. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't really seen them represent me. Mm -hmm. Other than, of course, when I used to partner with my mom. You know what I'm saying? And my Duke, shout out to my Duke. She really did that whenever, you know, Rob, like, yo, I got another, another event for you to, you know, go ahead, show out, do your thing and stuff like that. And she would she would be doing that. But with, with Braddy Dog, I mean, look, she took that to a whole nother level. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, to this point to where, like, we'll go to dispensaries and she'll put them on, like, yo, he's also an artist. You know what I'm saying? And she'll have the cards on deck in her wallet and saying, this is his card. They'll be off the, hey, you got any more cards? Because you can set them drinks up in this joint. Matter of fact, shout out to Charm City and Frederick because they the ones that allowed me to put my cards up in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo. Charm you, City. Yeah, for real. Shout out to Charm City. You know, it's Charm City Hemp. That's what it was. Out there in Frederick, downtown Hemp. Frederick. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they looked out for real, for real. You know, I, it was kind of like off guard for real. It was random. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But- is that that really like, yeah, I need that type of representation for real. Right. And that also let me know that she genuinely, like, truly support me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love that about her. So, what, you know. Do you feel like um, she manage you? Mm -hmm. Like, I know there be sometimes where you be like, man. Will we clash yeah. every once in a while? Like how, it, it happens. It yeah. definitely does. I'm not going to say that it don't. It now, definitely does. Do you, do you take 
you take the wife out of it or you you, you keep it like business and because you know how it is, man. So, yeah. You know, some women, I ain't gonna say just women, but right, right, men right. and women for sure would would take the the business side and then try to flush it into the to the personal, personal. side. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying, do y'all ever have that issue? Honestly, truly, we. But well, I guess you could say with the kind of bond that me and my wife have, we don't really have that much of an issue when we have to separate personal from business. Yeah. Honestly, we can keep it as one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we know how each other, how each other are, like how we, you know, our mannerisms are, how we take certain things and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So honestly, truly, I feel like our interaction with this business is just another branch of our relationship. Honestly, right. truly, just connected to one base root. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. That's just, but that's our relationship though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we, you know, we've met other couples that, you know, that do business together and stuff like that. And, you know, they've asked us the same question and we've told them like, the thing about it is just that you got to do what works for y'all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If it works for you, then go about that way. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But if it don't, don't try to, you know, pursue that direction, especially even when you see that it's not working. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like just all right, try something else. And y'all both, the biggest thing, oh, I stress this enough for anybody watching, be on the same page. I really can't stress because yeah. if one person is not on that page and the other person, you know what I'm saying, is somewhere else, it can really fuck things up. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It really can because it's like, all right, y'all trying to elevate to rebranding or something like that. One person wants to redo the website. The other person wants to do the merch. And mm-hmm. it's like, all right, y'all in two different places. It's right. like, y'all got to be in unison for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all that, both got to work on everything together. Has, it has to be that way. Because yeah. y'all partners. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not only partners in love and in life, but y'all are partners in this business. Yeah. And also, too, when folks get around y'all, you know what I'm saying? They're going to see whether or not, oh, they got their shit together or they just a fuck up like any other couple whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like... People peep stuff like that. Yeah. Even though, of course, you know, we shouldn't really be worried about it, but they pay attention. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you could be setting an example for another couple that wants to get in the business. Attention to you know detail. what I'm saying? They pay attention yeah. to all that. Yeah. They really do. So it's like, that's the honesty of relationship that me and my wife have. Like, like I said, sometimes we may clash, but not to the sense of, okay, yeah, we in a full blown argument. Mm-hmm. All right. Sometimes we may be agree to disagree, but that's rare for us because we yeah. really want to understand what we're saying to each other. Yeah. And that's another thing. Make sure you really understand what that person is talking about because it's one thing to hear it and it's another thing to understand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if that person is coming off to you with a topic or let alone an idea, I should I should have said an idea, and it could be the way that they're describing it or the way that they're saying it is very broad. Mm-hmm. Okay, be respectful. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Just just for clarity, what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what's that comedian? Well, he made that joke. What do you mean by that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, all right, sometimes you gotta, you know, you what, gotta do that. that off of, uh, I think it's Drewski. I think Drewski uh, did Drewski? that joint. It was, it was, it was. I think it was a video, yeah. a live or something he was doing. Yeah. And I always see that joint all over social media. When you be like, I know Kyle mean? used to say that off of Living Single though. Kyle too. He yeah. did. He did. Not gonna lie, he did. Yeah. But um, but Drewski, yeah, Drewski probably. Drewski, did. yeah. I've I've seen that a lot on social media. You so. know, what I, I say I say, tell me more. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Tell, tell me more too. What do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? But. If it if it's a bit vague and it's a bit broad and you can't really understand what they're saying, I right, tell them to look. What do you mean by that? Go in depth. You know, explain that to me. Mm-hmm. So that way you can understand. Because if you understand and you know where they're coming from, that makes you know the partnership and y'all working together a lot more fluid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it flows the way that it needs to flow. But if yeah. you don't understand what that person is saying, how can it work? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's like you working with an engineer. You know what I'm saying? If you if the engineer is giving you an idea, like yo, I think. By you know, on the hook, this by this part right here, I think you should do this joint. All right, well, what do you mean by that? Yo, when you get done with that, um, that that last word in that hook, mm-hmm. yo, you drop the beat and that joint come back in crazy. Like, all right, I now I get what you're saying. Yeah. Now. You were explaining this, so it's, now that person sometimes understand. you gotta change the 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 terminology. Yeah. So it can it can relate to that person. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Cause you might be talking Stanford level talk, mm-hmm. and they might be at PG level. <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And, not, and there's no disrespect. It's like, all right, no, let, not me, at all. let me bring it to where you can understand. You might have to start saying some little, and that's fine. Some some little lingo, like, hey, Look, you know what I mean. I tell people all the time, explain to me as if I'm a third grader. I don't care. We I want to understand. Break it what down, you're Barney style. Please, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Break Please, break it down, Barney style. Break it down, break it down to me, so that way I can understand where you're coming from, so I can deliver what I need to deliver to you. Yeah. You feel me? 
So that's pretty much the relationship that we pretty much have when it comes fire. to that. That's fire, you man. You know what I mean? Shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate it. So look, bro. man, before we get out of here, man, I got two two things. Mm-hmm. Two things. One is name something that you sacrificed and name something that, that you're blessed for. What I sacrifice is time. Mm-hmm. I sacrifice a lot of time. You say what I'm grateful for? Blessed. Oh, what I'm blessed, what I've gotten yeah. blessed with? My wife. Sacrifice time. Blessed with your wife. Honestly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do stress on the wife part because it's like my wife really helped a lot when it comes to me like planning shit. Mm-hmm. I was always a go with the flow, like, all right, that pops up, I right, then I'm gonna execute when it when that pops up. Mm-hmm. Not really like, all right, I got this amount of events going on, I got that going on, I got this going on. So I really has been using a calendar at all. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And really writing stuff down and like, all right, setting goals and stuff. She got me really into that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like, all right, you know, in a relationship, of course, you know, we the king, we ahead of the household, but of course the wife plays the neck. Mm-hmm. She directs where the king is going to go. Yeah. Or what to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's that, she really like came into that role when we, not only when we got married, but when we really made the partnership official. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was the thing that really, really honestly helped me tremendously. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Time and wife. All right. Absolutely. All right. Be, for the people out there, for the, the RWMTM people, because we, yeah, yeah. We got over 400 subscribers now. Ooh, so, uh, okay. Nate, give me a gym. Yeah. Give us a gym or something that they can put in their toolbox. A gem that they can put in a two box. Hmm. I would say execute smart time management. And I say that is because, you know what I'm saying, we all have the same 24 mm-hmm. 7, the same 365. Mm-hmm. It's really about how you use it. You know what right. I'm saying? So you can say, oh, I'll be busy. I'll be crazy busy with, you know, with work and with this and stuff. Okay. What time do you go to work? Oh, I go in at around 7 p.m. Okay. What are you doing before that? Yeah. What are you doing at 11 a.m.? What yeah. are you doing at 10 a.m.? What are you doing at 9 a.m.? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? In those hours of the day, you could be executing something that's probably not even all that heavy, but something small. The small things could be you know, executed right there and there so you have time mm-hmm. for other things that you need to do. Right. Time management is part of the cheat code, y'all. Like, seriously. Execute your time very wisely because you got a lot of these moguls, actors, entertainers that get up four or five o'clock in the morning every day. Yeah. Just to finish out their day itself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they be they they do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you got people like Steve Hall, you got a radio show, mm-hmm. host family feud. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure his schedule is hectic, bro. Right. But he'd probably be up like three, four o'clock in the morning, gotta go ahead and do the radio show. And he's not always at the studio in WHUR. He's somewhere probably in Prague or Tokyo yeah. or something like that. And he got it set up in his hotel room right. to still be able to broadcast that show. Yep. It's about how you manage your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, my boy Roland, he, you know, he does his photography and everything, but he got to manage his time. So he makes sure that he gets to his shoots, he gets to all his events, and also, too, he does Park Fest. So he got to manage his time wisely. Yeah. So that's how he's able to really execute those things yeah. and make sure that it comes off. The way that it needs to. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Roland. He's behind the camera. Yeah, shout out to the bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So yeah, time management, def- I definitely agree with that. That is definitely a awesome gem to definitely, pack man. into your toolbox. Yeah. Because um, side note, yeah. My doctor, um, I do uh I go to I go to the doctor mm-hmm. well, virtually for sure for insomnia. Okay. All right. I can't sleep. Gotcha. Like, bro, I be up. We go through it. Till six, seven in the morning. Mm. But I was always taught, like, bro, I, I used to do 24 hour missions when right. I was in the Marines, like in Iraq. For sure. 24 hours. That's real. So, Rippets, Red Bulls, Monsters, whatever you need to keep yourself up. Definitely. I was on that. Like, Definitely. You know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? That's, That's why it. when I drink it here, it's. It don't keep me up. Yes. Yeah, I like just drink juice. it for taste. Yeah, it's, it's juice. Like juice. Yeah. You know what I <laughs> mean? So, but she told me something and I was like, thank you. Finally, somebody agrees and I have the proof now. Mm-hmm. She said that eight hours of sleep rule is a myth. 
And I said, I've been saying that the whole time. Yeah, I can agree to that. You only need four hours. I can agree to that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For me. Yeah. You only need four hours. Because if you look at it like this. For me, it's five. It's 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. If you sleep in eight hours, you just slept a third of your day away. Basically. So that means you got 16 hours to do work, school, mm -hmm. extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. and then you got to go back to sleep. Right back to sleep. And then sometimes when you sleep those eight hours, you still may wake up tired. You know what I'm saying? Because you slept because too you slept damn too much. Long. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For me, like literally, bro, I, I kid you not, I literally have to write it down, bro. And yeah. I, I got to turn it into it every Tuesday, my sleep schedule. For sure. Like, bro, I sleep. Three to four hours. Yeah. Four to five. Right. That's how I like for me. This past five. week yeah. has been four to five. Right. So I got 20 hours mm -hmm. to work on podcast, to work on music, to, to, to go get stuff for the kids, yeah. go get the kids. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I have 20 hours mm -hmm. to do things. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Bro. And they so wonder how you get all of this stuff done. Like Tweezy, how do you do it, bro? It's all the time. You got to sacrifice. Bro. You got to sacrifice time too, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to also do sacrifice. You got to sacrifice something. You know what I'm saying? Cause and I'm okay with it. Sacrifice time, some sleep, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because not all the time you're going to be able to get those eight because hours. Because when I sacrifice now yeah, and I get to where I want to be, mm -hmm. if I want to go sleep longer or do whatever I need it's to gonna do. Be, it's going to be love. It's going to be love it's because everything's be love. already put in place yeah. and the generation of the income is already going. But right now, Mm -hmm. I'm grinding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so, yeah, man. But, yeah, I appreciate you, bro, for coming. Come on, man. Um, and, you know, anytime bro. Relationships Worth More Than Money podcast Way more. was created by, the song was created by us two. Yes, sir. Um, I had the vision. I always had the name. That was supposed to be the title of an album. But mm. 2024, that album is coming out. It's coming, y'all. Joint, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a collaborative album like Terra Red was in, um, first quarter. I'm still bumping them joints. So um, <laughs> yeah, uh, relationships worth joints. more than money. Podcast yeah. will have a actual soundtrack to it. I'm here for it. And you know what I mean. I'm He's already it. on it for exactly. the intro, the intro song to the to the the soundtrack. But mm. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do some more music for me. Come on now. And um, yeah, so to my left is Marcus Allen. Appreciate, Appreciate you for love. coming, bro. That's Behind up. that camera is rolling. Big oh, bro. also some merch. Mm. I don't know if y'all if y'all peep, but the last show I posted a merch link from Streamlabs. Shout out to Streamlabs. I got a merch uh, a merch link for a uh, relationship worth more than money podcast merch. Nice hoodies, sweaters, t shirts, water bottles, book bags. Mm. Uh, that's coming. It's out. You mm. can go order it now. Um, shout out to Slice Bread. Hey. You know, shout out to my homie. Go do that. Um, Go cop it. I'm trying to support everybody that I rock with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Male or female. Yeah. I'm going to do it whichever way. Also, be on the lookout for Dubby. Yeah. Um, affiliate program I got going on. So I'm going to put that in the link. Nice. And I'm trying to get blenders, the glasses, mm -hmm. the ones that uh, Prime, Coach Prime got. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that affiliate program too, man. So like, I'm working. Grinding, the grind working, is real. Working, man. I'm working. I got, I got some stuff coming, man. If y'all just stay tuned, it is. And like that, we gone. Yo, relationships worth more than money. Podcast. I'm talking relationships worth more than money. No time for the fake, but.